Hi, everyone. I wanted to just take a couple of moments and, and acknowledge the frustration and the anxiety that uh, caregivers are feeling everywhere. I think it's really becoming heightened and it's heightened for everyone, whether we are caregivers or not. And I believe that a lot of the reason is that the COVID-19 uh, virus is, is just been permeating us for so long. Uh, for one thing, we're, we're tired of it. We're tired and frustrated and lonely and some of us are bored and it's just simmering underneath the surface of our, our psyches and, and it's there even when we think we're really okay. And, and now that numbers seem to be rising, I believe that it's becoming a real issue and it's not going to go away anytime soon as far as we can tell. So what can we do? We, we end up reacting to a situation as opposed to responding. If we react, we get into a situation where we, you know, just we, we bounce off of someone with anger or frustration or, uh, or just sadness or we get caught up. And uh, if we respond, we are able to let these things flow through us a little bit. And what, what can we do in light of this? I think that one of the big things is to practice loving kindness because we all really want that. We want that for all of us, but it really needs to start right here in our own hearts. Uh, we need to start it right here. And if we can practice loving kindness for ourselves, we are then able to send that out into the world and respond in a, a more of a loving fashion, the kind of response that we want to be giving instead of maybe sometimes what's really happening to us. And what happens to us is, uh, of course, very normal. We are human. So I, I won't say too much more right now, except that I would like to offer you a meditation and I hope that maybe you'll uh, kick back and enjoy it and uh, maybe you just bookmark it and you can listen later if it uh, resonates with you. So I will turn off my video in a moment and let you just sit back and listen to my words. And it really is all about loving kindness for ourselves and for all of humanity. So I'll do that now and uh, thank you. Become comfortable, if you can, in your chair or cushion or wherever you are. Uh, if you're sitting, try to sit with a relaxed but straight posture with your shoulders relaxed. Take a breath in when you hear this. And a breath out on this tone. Allow your hands to rest comfortably in your lap. And if it's okay with you, gently close your eyes settling into the awareness of the body and the breath, feeling into our body right now, just noticing what's here without any judgment whatsoever. And just try to be open to whatever is to be experienced in your body in this moment. If you have some discomfort, uh, just notice it, try not to judge it. Just right now, connect to your breath, inhaling, and exhaling. And as you do this at your own pace, notice the wave-like movements of the belly. So often we have a tight belly. We're so anxious in our bellies. Uh, so much goes on there. And in this practice, we'll be cultivating loving kindness. We all have within us this natural capacity for loving kindness. Or it may be a friendship that's unconditional and open gentle and supportive. Loving kindness is a natural opening of a compassionate heart, first to ourselves and then to others. It's a wish deep down in us that everyone be happy. And we begin with developing loving kindness toward others, allowing our hearts to open with tenderness, 
it begins right there. So now allow yourself to remember and open up to your own basic goodness. You might remember times when you've been extremely kind or generous. You might recall your natural desire to be happy and not to suffer. And if acknowledging your own goodness is difficult, look at yourself in your imagination through the eyes of someone who loves you. What does that person love about you? Or you may recall the unconditional love you felt from a beloved pet. And as you experience this love, notice how you feel in your body. Maybe you feel some warmth or heat in the face, maybe a slight smile, a sense of expansiveness. This is indeed loving kindness. It's a natural feeling that's accessible to all of us, always. So now resting with this feeling of open, unconditional love for a few minutes, just take a breath in and a breath out. Letting yourself bask in this energy of loving kindness, just breathe it in and breathe it out. Inviting feelings of peace and acceptance. So now beginning to wish yourself well by extending words of loving kindness to yourself. And I'll be offering guidance, these phrases that I've chosen for myself and you're invited to alter them and choose whatever words express your wishes of loving kindness toward yourself and others. And now offering these words in your mind for yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. May I feel connected and calm. May I accept myself just as I am. May I be happy. May I know the natural joy of being alive. And now repeating in the mind these words of friendship and kindness to yourself one more time. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. May I feel calm and connected. May I accept myself just as I am. May I be happy. May I know the natural joy of being alive. And now open the circle of loving kindness by bringing someone to mind who is dear to you, someone you care about and has always been supportive. Reflect on this person's basic goodness, sensing what it is in particular that you love about him or her. And in your heart, feel appreciation for this dear one and begin this simple offering to them. May you be filled with loving kindness May you be held in loving kindness. May you feel my love now. May you accept yourself just as you are. May you be happy. And may you know the natural joy of being alive. And as you let that person go, now bring to mind a neutral person, someone you might not know very well. It could be a neighbor, someone at the grocery store. Bring this person to mind now and repeat these words of loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you feel my love now. May you accept yourself just as you are. May you be happy and may you know the natural joy of being alive. And as you let that person go now, see if it's possible for you to bring to mind someone with whom you've had a difficult relationship. Perhaps it's someone you don't like to feel sympathy or compassion for. 
See if it's possible to let go of these feelings and dislike for this person. Remind yourself that this person is a whole being, deserving of love and kindness. As someone who feels pain and anxiety, as someone who also suffers, seeing if it's possible to extend to this person these words of loving kindness in your mind. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be held in loving kindness. May you feel my love now. May you accept yourself just as you are. May you be happy and may you know the natural joy of being alive. And as you let that person go, now allow your awareness to open out in all directions. Yourself, a dear one, the neutral person, and the difficult person, and of all beings, humans and animals living everywhere, living in richness, poverty, war, peace, hunger, abundance, any of these things, aware of all the joys and sorrows that all of these beings experience. May all beings be filled with loving kindness. May all beings be happy. May all beings awaken and be free. May all beings know the natural joy of being alive. And now as we bring this practice to a close by coming back to extend kindness to yourself, sit for as long as you'd like, basking in the energy of loving kindness that you have been generating right here and right now. <laughs> 